Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday, April the 26th, and we are in our Revelation series in chapter 15. This isn't a very long chapter, so we will go through it pretty quickly. But at the end of the study, there's something that I want to share that has been heavy on my heart. And uh, God has put something on my heart to share with you guys. So let's get into our study. Chapter 15, verse 1. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up with the wrath of God. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. So those are the people who have not given their allegiance to the Antichrist, have not taken his mark, and they are sold out for Jesus during the time of the tribulation. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I looked, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials, full of the wrath of God, who liveth for ever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. And that finishes that chapter. Now, what I need to share with you guys, God has put this on my heart, and my heart has been so heavy, because I feel that time is very short. Uh, I know that I'm not the only believer who is feeling that. All who have the Holy Spirit within them feel the same, because we share the same Spirit of God, those who have been redeemed by the Lamb of God. And I have to be straight up with you guys that uh, that the party's over. The party on earth is over. The freedom that you once thought that you had and thought that you were entitled to have, you will no longer have that anymore. Friends, I feel in my heart even this afternoon, as I was just laying in my bed, I felt the Holy Spirit prompt me to share this message with you guys that there isn't much time left. And those who have continued to reject Him, mock and scoff Him, will soon find out their destiny. Now you still have a little time, a little time to receive Him. And the Bible promises that those who turn away from their sins, recognize that they're a sinner, and they have a need for a Savior, which is Jesus, and believe by faith that he died for your sins, it is a promise that you will be saved. And God knows every man's heart. So the confession doesn't just come from one person's lips just to say it, or because maybe they believe in Jesus and they want the security of um, not going to hell. But the Bible says that even the demons believe in Jesus, but yet they fear and tremble at his name. And they're not going to heaven. So what it takes is a person to turn from their sins, recognize that they're a sinner, and they believe that Jesus died for their sins. And he's the only way to salvation. Now, I just saw, saw an article this morning, which is very alarming, that the Pope has denounced his title as the victor of Christ. He says, anything 
to do with the name of Jesus Christ causes tension amongst other religions and faiths, especially the Muslim faith. He had just signed a declaration that was in December of 2019, or I believe it was December or January 2020. I don't remember, but you guys can Google it and check it out. But he had just signed a coalition agreement called the Abraham Faith, meaning that these three um, religions are going to embrace together. The Muslim faith and the Catholic faith. And there's another video, I believe it was earlier this year, or sorry, earlier last year, 2019, of the Pope. Literally, you can type that in YouTube, check it out yourself. The Pope bent down and was kissing all the top in men's feet. Basically apologizing for, um, for the abuse in the past. Now, I, I agree. I think as humans and Christians or whoever you are, doesn't matter. We need to have respect for one another. But keep in mind, folks, that the Muslim ideology, the ideology, not the people, because just like many Catholic people, are in a deception as well. They're under the Catholic ideology. So the ideology of, the, of Catholicism and Islam, they have a one purpose, and that's to merge and to enslave mankind. Now, if you don't believe me, you can check it out yourself, but I'm just here to warn you guys. Everyone can make their own choice, their own decision, and who they want, if they, if they reject Jesus or not. But I can tell you, for a person who claims to be a holy man, and I'm speaking of the Pope, a holy man of God and a believer of Jesus, to reject his name just to join the ecumenical movement is not a believer at all. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power from above. That's what the scriptures say. So I'm confessing my faith here right now that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Even he said it himself. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. And I, I, I'm just telling you guys, and even as I'm sharing this right now, I'm feeling the heaviness being lifted up because I know that I'm doing the will of God and I'm sharing this with you guys. But the main message is that time is short. You guys have heard the gospel many times and now you need to make that decision before it's too late. And once the Lord comes back for his believers, then that's it. Then all hell is going to break loose upon the earth. And it's going to be too late. So I'm just giving this. Hopefully it's not the last warning. But if it is, it could be. But I'm giving this warning to you guys. And keep in mind that they also have the vaccine and the microchip. And the Bible had already prophesied that over 2,000 years ago. Jesus gave John a vision and that's why we're doing this whole study in the book of Revelation. John saw the beast. He saw the mark of the beast. And he saw many people taking that mark. And he clearly says that whoever take that mark and worship the beast will never be forgiven. And you will not be able to buy or sell without it. So once that happens... There's no point of return. You have already sold, sold your soul to the devil. Now, I know some of you guys may be laughing and, and mocking and scoffing, but you won't be laughing and mocking and scoffing when all this reality does hit. But my prayer is that you will not be here when all this happens. And so I just pray that through this video or through other videos, or through a vision or a dream that God actually speaks to your heart and you call upon his name. 
And that's why you're seeing an increase in Christians sharing their faith. They're sharing the gospel, which simply means the good news. Jesus Christ is good news. Religion is not good news. Religion is slavery. And that is what the Roman Catholic Church is. That's what Islam is. And that's what every other religion in the world is. It's man's way of creating their own God to appease themselves or to appease their own agenda. And so I would encourage you to watch my Revelation chapter 13 and 14 videos. It goes more in depth and detail of the Roman Catholic Church as being one of the beasts coming up from the earth and making everyone worship the first beast, which is the, which is the one world order political system. So I leave that with you guys and, uh, and I, and I, and I pray for you here. I'm just going to pray, finish this video with a prayer. Lord Jesus, I just give you thanks. Thank you, Lord, that you saved my life. Thank you, Lord, that, uh, that I was empty before I knew you, Lord. I was empty. I was depressed. And my soul was going to hell. But because of your grace and mercy, as I opened my heart, Lord, to you, you came and you rescued me. And you set me free. And I pray the same for any viewer who is watching this video. Oh, Lord, only you can set them free. Only you can speak to their hearts. So I pray that they would even open their heart just a little before there's no more time left. And I pray, Lord, that you know every person whose name will be in the book of life. And I just pray that the viewers who are watching my video, Lord, I pray that their names would be in the book of life. And so we just give you all the praise and glory. And I'm looking forward for your return, Lord. I'm keeping watch so that I know the hour of your coming. Revelation chapter 3, verse 3. Thank you, Jesus, for your kindness, your mercy, and thank you that you are preparing a place for those who love you in heaven. We just give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, God bless you guys, and, uh, and I also encourage believers who are watching this video, continue to share the gospel, continue to love your enemies, and pray for those who you love that need to come to Christ. God bless you guys, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow for Revelation chapter 16. Bye.